Well, guys, I guess this is part three. My camera is acting up for real, you know. I need hubby to the rescue again. So this is my um, this is part three of my July tour, and this is the original um, mud spot cat clear that I have mud spot paradise. This is the mother, and this she also have a two two leads right here, but this one. This is a bifolid cattleya, but this one it has an extra leaves right here. This this sort of bulb is, I call her um, a unique wabbit. <laughs> she's a she's a she's become a trifolid cattleya now. New buds inside, no no buds inside, and this one here is just trying to open the second leaf right here, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna give me a um, buds as well, just like the other one. Yeah, she's pretty, and she was hanging in there, and I moved my uh, maxillaria tinifolia in here to catch up some of the sun's power, right? She's got a lot of new growth right there in the base, and she, it won't focus too, goodness, there. Yeah. My goodness, she loves the rain as well. Huh. Focus, please. These are the subject for my um my last release three days ago. My last video release. Yep, they're still there, but I switched look I switched these two plants right there because the the brassia had the long spikes now and it touches the fence and I don't want it to blast. So I moved. I moved the brassia here, and that's the bigger spike now of my uh, this uh, Bilara Tahoma Glacier. She's she's well, right? Got that's really big right there, my brassia. Okay, let's move to somewhere else. This is the Joy Fairy Tale, guys. Look at that, she's fragrant, very fragrant. So gorgeous. She's finally in full bloom. Yep. And the Eringi citrata, still growing. My goodness, my fall vivio, growing. Look at the root tips in there as well. And the King Idium, or the fall deliciosa. Look at that. Yeah, my Munirara Millennium Magic Witchcraft still at her beautiful blooms. Yep, I can smell the spiciness here. My goodness, and look at that second spike, it's opening very nice. And I have three new uh, fat roots growing in that um, species, Vanda, Vanda cerulea. I had to water that dendrobium over there today after yeah and my uh look at these three spikes out three buds on my Melton Meltonia sunsets yeah two new growth on this she loved Tolkien and look at the two spikes there's still uh, this one's fully bloomed, this spike, and the other one's still, still working on it. Yeah, beautiful. She loved Tolkien. And this one right here, it's almost done. Two more left. Wow, that's the Alicera Halo Ablaze. Halo Gold. Yeah. And this is the spike of my Fall Polkirima Alba. Long spike too. Billina still. Look at that growing, that new spike. Hmm. And these are the bloom of my semi hydrophiles. Look at my the white one that I rescued seven months ago. Yeah. 
and this is red velvet guys it reminds me of red velvet red velvet cake or the same color as my red velvet gown very nice so waxy and velvety nice and this one look at the bloom on that this is my um uh chia yearling hornling nice She's the one that has the seed bud that I don't know how that happened. And the video might cut off shortly, so if it also I just say thanks for watching guys. Yeah. Because I need my habit to fix this beautiful pyloric fall. No ID. Because most of my fall falls here are um except for my this is my sister's um gift. All my files are no ID. Oh, I come to think about it, the one that she gave me, the gift from my sister, no name as well. So, yeah, they are all nameless files that I have. Except for this um, Chia Yenling, I found it in Hauserman's. Yeah, nice. I'm a semi hydro garden. One leaf for my purple martin. One bloom. One bloom. One bloom. Look at that in the side views. So pretty. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. It's something. The shape is awesome. This is my purple martin. The tip is purple martin. Awesome. And this is my hanging beauty right here. Look at that. She's just peeking out in the window. This is from a secondary spike. Just two buds. I'm not complaining. She's pretty. I don't know if she's gonna put out more buds though, but because um, it looks like it's still going active. And there she's in the semi hydro as well. Yeah. Just leave this. Hanging in there. 